Hello there everybody, this is Tweet here and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the error code 1 for uh, Minecraft. So with 1.6 uh, being released, the way you install mods has changed quite uh, dramatically. And some people, including myself, was having a problem where after installing Minecraft Forge you would get a error code 1 and basically the game would not load. Um, I also had a, another problem before that where after installing the Minecraft Forge the like Minecraft would not load after um, installing Minecraft Forge. Uh, it would load up to the login screen and log in but then it wouldn't do anything else. It just closed. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fix it so the problem is the Java so what you have to do is completely uninstall Java and install a new uh, well the latest version of uh, Java uh, the first thing you're gonna do though is get a fresh copy of uh, Minecraft so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to run so to do that you'll press the Windows key and R on the keyboard and if you are on Windows XP you will go to start and in the uh, start menu there will be a run command round about here. So in the run, in the run you're going to type in uh, percent app data percent and press OK and then in this in the roaming folder there will be a dot minecraft so load that up uh, what you want to do is um, delete all the files in here and now uh, once you've done that load up minecraft and then once it loads uh, you'll put in your information uh, log in to the Minecraft screen with like single player and multiplayer so that it can download all the files again so you've got a completely fresh copy of Minecraft so once you've done that you're, you're going to now download Minecraft Forge uh, there'll be a link in the, in the description below this video for the latest uh, version of Minecraft Forge so if you're watching this in the future, like 1.6.3 or 1.7, um, just download the most recent version. So you'll click on 1.6.2 because that's the most recent version for me. And it's going to take a bit. There we go. It's going to be a bit slower because I'm recording, but uh, once you load up the most recent version of Forge, you're going to download the installer. Do not download Universal or Source, download the installer. So click Add Fly or Direct and save it to your computer. So I've got Minecraft here and I've got Minecraft Forge. So now you're going to install, uninstall sorry, uh, Java. So you're going to load up Run again. So Windows key and R or Start and Run for Windows XP. And oops, no. You don't do that. And in the run command, uh, you're going to put in app wiz dot cpl. So that's app wiz dot cpl. I'll put it on the screen in larger text. So press OK. And in here will be a um, will be the Java program which is here Java 7 um, it might be a different version it could be like Java 8 or something it just you want to do is uninstall all of the Java versions that you have so you're gonna right click uninstall continue that that uh, window might not open it's just because I'm on a second account on my computer so are you sure you want to uninstall Java 7 yes Preparing to remove. And type in the password. 
because I'm, I'm on a second account, I'm not on my main account because I've got lots of stuff all over my desktop. So, it's easy to just do it on another account where the desktop's all tidy. Okay, so Java uh, is now uninstalled. So just uninstall any program here that is called Java. So once you've done that, you're going to close it down. And now you're going to uh, load up Run again. So Windows key and R or Windows XP start run and then here you're going to type in um, reg so R E G edit E D I T that's R E G E D I T and press enter. So you want to now go into the HK current user software and you're going to uninstall the Java soft file so right click and delete are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys yes so that's gone so what you want to do now is go out of HK current user and go into HK local machine and software and you want to uninstall JavaSoft in here um, I don't have it because I've already uh, fixed it so I don't have the file it might not be there for you so if it's not there that's good so uninstall JavaSoft in here so you do right click delete so once you've done that you want to close down the registry registry editor and you're going to load up run again so windows key and r windows xp start and run and oops i keep doing that um, in the run console you're going to type in percentage app data again and press enter and what you're looking for now is a file called sun so s u n and if it's not in here you want to go to the app data at the top in the windows um, I think this is like file or something like that so you want to go into app data and then you're going to look in the local for a sun file if it's not there that's okay don't worry and uh, local low and you see I have a sun file here you want to delete it so if you don't have a sun file in local local low or roaming do not worry because that's fine so you just want to delete it if you can see the file so once you've done that you've now completely uninstalled Java so what you want to do now is go to the Java website which will be a link in the description or you can just go on Google and type in Java so once you're on the website you're going to click free Java download uh, agree and start and save it to your computer which I have done here so you're going to load it up and basically reinstall Java so install might take a few seconds and we are done nope I don't want that install in Java and you have successfully installed Java um, and then it'll come up with this window saying verify your Java version and it basically just uh, scans your computer to make sure you have the correct version of Java so like the most recent one which you should have because you've just downloaded it so once you've done that uh, load up Minecraft just to make sure Java is working correctly and uh, it's loading okay so Minecraft loaded let's uh, click play just to prove it's working and there you go so Minecraft is working because uh, Joel 
Joel, oh, I said that because I looked at that, um, Java has uh, installed correctly. So now you're going to install Minecraft Forge. So you want to now use the file that you downloaded from the Minecraft Forge. Um, so it'll be Minecraft Forge installer and you're going to load it up. So double click the uh, file and it will come up with mod system installer and then you want to select install client and this will be the uh, the location of the .minecraft so if your .minecraft is saved in a different location um, just put the file root um, in there so press ok successfully installed now load up minecraft again starting a launcher and then in this section here there'll be a profile you want to go on the menu and select forge and then it's going to come up with the uh, information here so I'm just going to quickly enter mine in here okay so I've entered my uh, information that's what you want to do as well so forge press play and minecraft should load just give it a second to load it'll probably load a bit quicker for you because I'm recording and there you go minecraft 1.6.2 no error code 1 minecraft forge go into the mods you have minecraft forge so that is how you fix the error code 1 and get your Minecraft Forge to work so thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe uh, leave a comment if something didn't quite work and I'll see if I can help you um, I'll be doing some more Minecraft reviews so uh, yeah goodbye